Hey everybody, my name is Ace Fangirl, and welcome back to another episode of Danganronpa Trigger Happy Havoc. Last time, we started the class trial. We, uh, we unmasked Toko, for lack of a better word, as Genocide Jill, the infamous serial killer that has been running around killing people, and I got on my soapbox about the differences between dissociative identity disorder and schizophrenia. Twy pointed out to me that they could have been using schizo as the root word for split, which is true, but in that case, they should have just put split to avoid confusing the issue. Okay, and with that, I'm done. I'm sorry. It's just my soapbox because I'm a psych major and I get upset about it. All right, I need to get some more details about all this because Genocide Jill just claimed that she did not actually commit the murder. So let's do this. How are we gonna, okay, so make your argument, all right. Library death lamp, status of the dead body, disappearing stain. Okay. Sorry, but I didn't kill anyone. Okay. You say that, but do you really expect any of us to believe it? Uh-huh. Perhaps if you had an alibi, that would change things. Oh, an alibi, huh? Now we're talking. Yeah, do you? When you compare your past murders to this incident, the modus operandi matches completely. Okay, I think that's gonna be it, what but I'm gonna listen. I'm, from now on, I'm listening to everything. <laughs> Alright, I'm glad we listened to that. Give it up. Alright, no, that's definitely it. This is what I've been saying the whole time. It does not match. Exactly. Is the key word. You say that. I like how their voices when sound. When you compare your past murders okay. to this instance, the modus operandi matches completely. Here we go. No, wrong. wrong. This is what I've been saying about the scissors, right? Are the methods of murder really exactly and the, the same? And the stabbing as I'm opposed so to sure hitting someone that. over the head. I think there's a slight difference between the Genocide Jack cases and this one. Huh? How's it any different? None of you read! Uh oh, you don't know? Well then, human garbage! Let hey, I'm trying to defend you here! You could at least call me something better. I murder with passion and conviction. I consider myself a professional, and I have a very particular way of the doing scissors. things. Imagine you go to a fancy Italian restaurant. They're very picky about the noodles, the sauce, everything. That would be a way grosser analogy if the blood was red. But what happened to Chihiro? It'd be like if that same Italian restaurant started using Ragu or Chef Boyardee. <laughs> That's this funny. Is no creation of mine. Let me rephrase that in a way that maybe makes more sense. I got it. There are two clear differences between the Genocide Jack cases and mm -hmm. this one. There's one clear difference between the murders and the victim's fatal injury. I got it. For one, the cause of death is 100%. In the Genocide Jack murders, all the victims were killed the same way. According to the case file, they were all apparently killed with a pair of scissors. That's pretty poetic. But Chihiro died from a blow to the head, right? Yep. Ah, uh, yes. That is remarkably different from the other murders. It's true. Wouldn't it be strange for someone who kills the same way without fail to suddenly change their Maybe she method? ran out of scissors. <laughs> Hello? And there's more. I just clicked like One three times. Conflicting detail. That's right. In my recipe of murder, if the bloody message is the tortellini... Now I'm hungry. Then the arrangement of the body would be the pesto sauce. Oh God, I want pasta now. Could you please stop comparing killing people to cooking? So, are you saying yep. the difference has to do with how the body was arranged? That's right. The second difference is related to how she was suspended. What she was used to suspend. What was... What was used to suspend her? I think I started reading the one below. To suspend her? They used some kind of rope to hang her up by her wrists. What is your point? That's not how she well, does it. In all the previous Genocide Jack cases, something else was used to suspend the them. Scissors. Specifically, pairs of razor-sharp scissors. Which is just crazy, by the way. And guess what? I use my own specially designed scissors for the murders and the arrangements. How did no one catch you again? Like I said, I'm that a should be a dead giveaway. Actually, I'm very 
picky about the tools I use. And, 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 and you know what else? No, what else? Tell me, honey. Big Mac said there's two differences. I like that you're calling me Big Mac. Big That's Mac? definitely what I'm calling myself from now on. Listen up, Big Mac. There's actually one more difference. Oh, God, what is it? Tell me. Huh? Did I know this? My word, you really didn't know this? They're all guys. They're all male. That's right. There's a pattern there, just waiting to be discovered. A pattern? Figure that out, and it'll be plain as death why I couldn't have possibly killed that little lolly girl. Hmm, let's see. The pattern surrounding the genocide jack victims and Chihiro didn't fit it? I, I think I figured it out. I know why she couldn't have killed Chihiro, because Chihiro was her lover! Chihiro was a girl. I'm not- I'm not even gonna mess around with it. because Chihiro was a girl? We're not doing some Grossberg red-white situation here. Bingo! Bullseye right on the money! What are you talking about? She only killed guys. In all the Genocide Jack cases, all the victims had something in common. We're all men. They were all... guys? Yep. That's right! The people I kill with such passion and conviction are all adorable little men! I love how it spins around! The hell is wrong with you? I can't help it! I'm just a full throttle boy! I knew it! Girl, and the mopey side of me just hates it! I knew it! I told you! I told you that was gonna happen! But now I'm on the fast track to becoming a full fledged man, madam! Oh, I should have given her that bag. So since Chihiro was a girl and not an adorable little man, you wouldn't kill her? Would an Italian chef suddenly start making ramen just because they're both noodles? Don't be stupid. I have too much passion and conviction to cross that line. That's the absolute reality of the one and only. We get it. You've clearly explained your, your hobby, hobby and your philosophy. But that's not all there is to it. He's gonna claim that Chihiro was like a victim of opportunity or something? That's what I would do. It's a different matter entirely. Yep. When you're forced to kill in order to survive. I can argue against myself. Uh-oh. Lowly. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. I would never kill for a reason as petty as mere survival. I still wanna know how you talk with your tongue like that, honey. And if by some fluke I did kill to survive, why would I bother with the message and arrangement? It'd make me the obvious suspect! That's true! That does make some amount of sense. Plus, whatever reason I have for killing, I would never leave out my prize. But scissors. do you have any? Who would go out of their way to use the big, stupid, heavy dumbbell? Maybe you used the dumbbell because you couldn't find any scissors in the school? Any scissors? No, her special scissors! I don't just use any scissors! I only use my own set of high-class envy of the entire world scissors! Okay, whatever. There still aren't any in the school. Are you sure about that? Yeah, Monium. Beautiful, darling. She's fully equipped. Damn, you go, girl. That's right. So I can kill anywhere, anytime. How fun. Why would I resort to dumbbells or rope when I have my trusty scissors by my side? But can we talk about where you get them and why no one has caught you? Go ahead. Tell me I'm wrong. You can't kill you gutter dogs. All of hey. You. I've been doing good this whole time. Not to mention, I have no clue how to tie a good knot. <laughs> so rope's totally out of the question anyway. Uh-huh. I have no idea what's going on anymore. Could such a heinous villain really be innocent? Yeah. But the body really was suspended, right? And nobody but the police knew about that. Yeah. That's why we figured it had to be the real deal. This is the only part I'm not sure about. Well, I mean, besides who it actually is. But... Actually, hold on. There is one person. One person who could have copied the Genocide Jack cases. Byakia! Hi, darling. 
I don't think you did it. Here's my answer. Byakuya, it's possible you could have found out. Isn't I don't it? think he did it. Don't get me wrong. He's also too obvious. But you'd have no problem gaining access to classified government documents or internal police records. He's the only other one. Plus, you've already looked through the genocide job to see this all happened, hadn't you? Don't deny it, baby. You told me already. Are you saying Mr. Togami did it? I don't think he did. And I'm not just biased because I think he's hot. Then the reason he pushed the theory of genocide jack well, would make sense. So hard was because he wanted to pin the crime on her. But then why would well he did lead me to all the genocide jack information. So he rearranged the scene to disguise it and make it look like I put my stamp on it. The adorable glass man was behind it all. Oh, I'm on fire! Please, honey, tell me it ain't so. Don't do this to me. I see. So now the suspicion falls on me. I trusted you. Then I must ask, when would you say I began acting suspicious? Uh, when that one time when suspicious? you were being all weird in the library? Looking back and thinking about it now, the way you were acting right before we discovered the body was a little strange. In the locker room. They're suspicious. Very suspicious indeed, wouldn't you agree? Suspicious? That is right. He, um, he did know. He did seem to know where the body you was. You wanted to go to the girls' locker room right away, right? But since you're a guy... I should have naturally thought of the boys' locker room first. Not is necessarily. You say? I would just say that you wouldn't have known that you could get into the girls' locker room. The victim was Chihiro, a girl. Hence why I said we should check the girls' locker room. Nothing strange about that, I'd say. Also, I don't know if we knew that at that point in time. On the contrary, there's something very strange. We wouldn't have been able to get in. Okay, then. What's so strange about it? Go ahead. Share with the rest of the class. He's so sassy. God, babe, please do not tell me that you did it. I'm gonna be so disappointed. A new element. Oh god, another one? Oh god, what is it? Okay, okay. We're gonna add something called a truth flashback. If you aim at a weak spot and hold down the left mouse button, then you'll memorize that weak spot. This memorized phrase can only be shot once as a single truth bullet. If you shoot or change the truth bullet, it will disappear from your truth cylinder. However, you can use this flashback feature as many times as you want. If you don't seem to have the answer to a lie or contradiction in their loaded truth bullets, it might be wise to memorize a different weak spot and use that to make your case. When's the best time to flash back? Well, you'll just have to use your keen wits, won't you? In that case, though, I will say that if you don't use the flashback, you won't be refuting, it, refuting anything. Well then, good luck and have fun! How do I do that? How do I... wait. I don't understand! Monica... All I have is Monica Mufal number two. So, Wait, I don't- Yaku, hang on, I don't understand. How do I do the- Wait. You target a weak spot and then hold down the left mouse button. Oh! Okay, alright, I get it. Was acting okay, hang on, I'm gonna read first. Then I'm gonna focus on the body. But he was acting weird. You're presented with the opportunity to check okay, it's out not gonna the girls' locker room. You absolutely shut it. up. That's a natural reaction for anybody. you are not helping. The victim was Chihiro, who was a girl. So of course I would suggest we check the girls' locker room first. See, I don't think we there knew was that. No time for pointless distractions. What's so strange about that? We didn't know that it was Chihiro. Shut up, man. Okay, it's definitely that. And be about Chihiro being a girl, I realize there's a clear contradiction there. Okay, I, yeah, 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 I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. So, okay. you said Byakuya was okay. acting kind of weird before we found it. Then he was acting... And he was presented with the attitude... Blah, 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 blah. That's a natural... The victim was Chihiro, who was a girl. Okay. 
Now I gotta go through again. Okay. Victim of Shigeru. Oh, did I do it backwards? Oh, I did it backwards. Damn it. I didn't do it the other way. I argue that that could work both ways. But... So, you said Byakuya was acting kind of weird before you found the body. But he was acting weird... I don't understand why that wouldn't work. You're presented with the opportunity to get a natural... The victim was Chihiro. No, no, no! I didn't want to... Didn't so want to do course, that. I would suggest there was no I time. tried to shoot. So this is a little it's a little finicky. Okay. So you said Byakuya was acting kinda of weird before okay. he found the body. Okay. But he was acting weak and fear presented. Got it this time. That's a natural rip. The victim was Chihiro. Who was a No, that's wrong. Okay, I just wanna say that I think that should work both ways. Because it's literally the exact same. I'll tell you what's so strange about that. Because I'm up just until we actually this trial. the body, we couldn't have known who the victim was. Yeah, exactly. Which is what I said the first time. So your claim that you went to the girls' locker room first because Chihiro was the victim doesn't hold up. I don't understand why that doesn't work. I see. That's a good answer, I must admit. Thank you. I know. Interesting. Very interesting indeed. But your reasoning is still I feel too personally weak. challenged by this. Which is what I wanted, so I'm kinda happy about What's it. wrong? Is that No, I got more. Surely you've got more I'm ready. Go ahead. Show us. What's Biakia's attitude? It's like he doesn't even care. I've got him cornered, but he's acting like it has nothing to do with him. Cause I don't think he really did it. What's the matter? You're I'm calling it, he didn't do it. There must be more to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. There is. I think. We got more to talk about. There is more to it. Thanks, Kyoko. Think about it. We just talked about the differences between this case and past Genocide Jack incidents. The proof you're looking for is hidden in there. The extension cord? Oh. Proof that I'm the culprit. It's not proof, know. but it's very strong evidence. Differences between this case and other Genocide Jack murders. The evidence that proves Byakuya is responsible is hidden in there? What could it be? Are we making an argument again? Okay. I think it's gonna be the cord. Library desk lamp, yep. Was Celeste's account again? That she saw she hit over the night before. Okay, it's gonna be the desk lamp. What? The difference between the cases? You want me to explain it no. Again? No, don't please explain it. I got it. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. But Chihiro was suspended with it was some kind of rope. It was an extension you know? cord. That's right. It absolutely was. Then there must be something very yeah. fishy indeed about that mm -hmm. rope. Hey Byakuya, where'd you get it? Oh shit! Mod is getting in on it. I'd never seen that rope before in my That's life. That's it! Oh, did you see that no. sneaky shoot around? Oh, nailed it! Did you see that? That was some good shooting right there. Hmm. Actually, I'm pretty sure you have seen you it before. You totally have. Because, you see, that rope, or should I say... That extension cord! That extension yeah. cord? Yeah! What? Alright, I'm back in, I'm back in. Yucky. Everyone dance. You've used the extension cord in the library more than once, haven't you? I'm glad to get to see this the picture again. Extension cord that was in the library all this time. I'm doing like some kind of weird jazz hands dance. Went missing after the it, murder. Hell yeah, it did. And there's no way someone. Who I'm not happy about this though. I don't you. want him to be Wouldn't the killer. That fact. I'm gonna be so upset. And Byakuya must be the one who took the extension cord. I can't imagine any other possibility. That's really what you think? Then your I mean, conclusion is something like this? Technically, anyone could have taken it. It's not like he's the only one that goes into the library. I killed Chihiro in the girls' locker room, then hung her up and wrote that bloody message. 
I intentionally made it look like Genocide Jack was behind it. Is that about right? I mean, yeah. That's where we are up to this point. He's doing it again. He's totally calm, unconcerned. As if he's not even involved. See? That's, I mean, then again, I don't think Byaki is the kind of person that would, like, freak out. But I'm just saying. Wait, not even involved? What's wrong? I asked you if you think that's what happened. Tell yes, that's what happened. I don't think it is. So that's it, right? Biaki is the killer. I don't disagree with not disagreeing. What? You kept calling this a game, right? That's why I don't so think. You're totally willing to do something like this. That's why I don't think he did it. It's too obvious. Um, sorry. Hang on. Just Hang second. on. Hold up, everyone. I. I think we need to talk about this a little more. Her? Do we really need to? We've already decided who Dude, did it. Dude, it's only our lives in the balance. I know, but still. There's something that's still bothering me. Is that right? And what, pray tell, is Why you gotta sass me like this? I'm trying to help you. I killed her in the girls' locker room, then disguised my crime. Specifically, I dressed it up to make it look like it was the work of a homicidal psychopath. What about all that bothers you? Wait. What was that just now? Something's not right. Byakuya's remarks just now. There's something in there that concerns me. I think it's the scene of the crime, which is what I've been saying the whole time. I think it was Switch. You killed Shishiro in the girls' locker room, right? I don't think that's true. But are you sure about that? Isn't it possible that the murder took place somewhere else? How disappointing. Don't sass me, babe. What kind of question is that? <laughs> Even in the world of disappointments, this is a true letdown. a dollar. She was found dead in the girl's life. I'm not room. arguing that. There is absolutely no, no question I agree. about that. How could the scene of the crime have been anywhere else? Well, I think it's entirely possible that she was killed somewhere else, then carried there later, along with the rest of the murder scene. Right? That's what I said. Uh, rest the of poster the and the scene? rug. And the b dumbbell, I guess. That was awfully specific. Please tell me you have a reason for saying all of that. I believe I do. Why is he playing along with me if he didn't do it, though? That's a little weird. Hey, Byakuya, did you just... Did I just take you off guard? Oh god, please tell me he didn't do it. And the story suddenly moved to the crime scene. Byakuya, who'd been so confident up till now. Maybe Byakuya never even realized that the actual scene of the crime could have been somewhere else. Hey, don't just move on without permission. I what do you mean she was killed somewhere else? Come on, Makoto. Oh, he's, he's frustrated. If there's any chance the murder took place somewhere else, let's see the proof. Evidence that shows the murder took place somewhere else. I need to just focus on these things that got switched. Okay, so we have the carpet. No, first I have to prove the scenes were switched. Oh, sorry. Okay, um, my bad. You just focus on these things. Okay, well, I argue that the carpets were switched, but hey, I'm just saying. Um, yeah, no, present it. There we go. I got it. The proof that she was killed somewhere else is the poster that's hanging in each locker room. And the carpet, but I guess we're gonna get to that in a hot minute. Your proof is some posters? Yep. The poster in the girls' locker room was a boy band. A picture of a boy. Well, it was supposed to be a boy band. But don't you think that's kind of strange? No, girls can like big boobs. Why would the girls' locker room have a poster like that? I bet those massive jugs of hers were totally fake! <laughs> okay, thank you. Meanwhile, the boys' locker room had a poster of the super popular boy band Tornado. I was thinking about this when I was editing, but they kind of look like Pokemon professors or gym leaders or something. Again, that doesn't really seem to belong in a boys' locker room. So you're saying that maybe the posters were switched? Mm -hmm. And there's one other thing I noticed about the locker rooms. 
You know what I'm talking about. Right, Sakura? It's what I just said! You're referring to my protein coffee, aren't you? Protein coffee? While I was in the girls' locker room earlier, I spilled some protein coffee on the carpet. Mm -hmm. But I noticed that after the murder, the stain had been totally scrubbed away. And that's away. what you thought. No, it's not that the stain was scrubbed away. It was moved to the boys' locker room. I got it! The stain on the girls' locker room carpet wasn't scrubbed away. In fact, I found it on the boys' locker room carpet. That's definitely the stain from my protein coffee. Then, does that mean that the carpet was switched? To? Exactly. But why would anyone do that? To move the murder scene from one locker room to the other. It's certainly plausible. Don't you I think? would say so. What? In other words, in order to completely swap the scene of the crime, the bloodstained poster and carpet were moved along with the dead body. By doing this, the killer was able to change the entire room where the murder took place. I can certainly follow your reasoning, but why would the culprit bother doing that? Maybe to make us think that I had to be a girl? Huh? Why would they go through all that trouble of switching the scene of the crime? Because Toko is a girl. Actually, an even bigger question. If the murder did take place in the boys' locker room, then how did Chihiro get in the boys' locker room in the first place? That I am not quite sure about yet, but I have a theory. <sighs> to get into the locker rooms, you have to swipe your e-handbook across the card reader device. Byakuya didn't know about that. I've been disappointing him. But Chihiro's handbook should have only allowed her access to the girls' Her handbook room. is missing. She had no way to get into the boys' locker room to begin with. No, she did have a way. And I can tell oh, because he was. was in there earlier. I highly doubt that. Oh, <laughs> he was like, I'm finally being it. useful for once, man. Is he right? Could Chihiro really have gotten into the boys' locker room somehow? Yeah, 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 yeah. She totally could have. Broken e handbook, maybe? Is it really possible? Either that or I'm gonna have to copy something. Into the boys locker room somehow. Ah, I got it. She must have hacked her e handbook. Oh. She was the ultimate uh. all. I'm sure that would have been no problem for her. No, I don't think that's okay. it. She used the thing that was in the main hall. Huh? What thing? I'm talking about Leon's handbook, of course. Mm -hmm. If she had that, she could get into the boys' locker room no problem. Theoretically, if Chihiro was able to use Leon's handbook, she could get into the boys' locker room. But that's if she was able to use it. Yeah, that's what- okay, so that one's the one that's broken. Could Chihiro really she must have packed she was the ultimate. That's so interest that that's an interesting possibility though. What the I'm talking about Leon's handbook, of course. It was broken. No, it's wrong. Presumably, if that's actually his, which we're not sure about yet. But No, I don't think Chihiro used Leon's handbook. I mean I'm kind of working off the theory that maybe the broken one is hers. But I mean I don't know. Why not? Oh, shit, I pushed this. Because Leon's handbook was broken. Yep. Well, we think. Oh. Well, then, yeah, I guess that'd be pretty impossible. Well, you did a good try. I am struck silent by how quickly <laughs> Oh, no. Plus, isn't there a regulation against... Here we go again with the semantics. Handbook? Actually, the rule states that loaning your handbook is prohibited. It says nothing, it says nothing Borrow. about borrowing one. In other words, you could borrow a dead person's handbook all you want, and you'd be safe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hit the nail square on the knocking. Thanks for jumping in there. Of course, if it were broken, that wouldn't make any sense anyway. So then, she must have hacked hers, like I said. She used her ultimate program. That's skills interesting. And... 
You can't fix an e handbook. Oh, okay, well, never mind. Up, a security buzzer starts glaring. Oh. So if she didn't use Leon's handbook, and she didn't modify her own handbook. Maybe Mr. Nyagi's initial assumption is I am not wrong. Wrong? And I'm very offended that it was you that suggested that. It seems like there's no way she could have got into the boys' locker room. So I guess so. Okay then. I vote We're not voting Pinocchio. yet. Everyone stop. Is that it then? Chihiro was killed in the girls' locker room and Biaki is the one who did it? Really? I do not believe that. But still, I don't know what else I can do. Hold on a second. Yes! Coming in clutch! I agree with you though. I think you're on the right track. What the? You finally decide to open your mouth and that's what you've got to say? There's no way she could get in the boys' locker room, right? So... Why are you so sure she couldn't get in? There's still one other way she could have gained access. What? What are you talking about? What other way is there? Well, to explain that, why don't we take a little break from the trial? Can we do that? I'd like you all to come see something. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Just what do you think you're doing? I was gonna say, is he gonna allow? Don't worry. This'll make the whole trial more exciting. I'm sure that thought must please you. Huh? It'll make things more exciting? Oh, she knows how to play him. Well, all right then. I declare an official class trial recess. Huh? For real? Now then, what is it you want to show us? It better not be boring or I'll be very unhappy. Oh, I have no doubt it'll meet your lofty expectations. So, shall we go? Where are we going? So before I even knew what was happening, the class trial had been put on hold. We headed off with Kyoko in the lead. And where she took us was... Oh, hi! The girls' locker room? What are we doing here? We've already searched this place top to bottom! What are you trying to pull, Missy? I'd like you to examine the victim's body. No one one's gonna time. do that. It's just gonna be you and me, girl. And maybe Biakia. You wanna check it again? Be sure to examine the entire body very carefully. Take your time. Examine her carefully? Not you. Like, using our hands? You go stand in the corner. No way, no way, no way, no way, no way! It's... Probably best if I yeah, all the go everyone else go in the corner. You know what? I'll do it. It's not that I'm creeped out or anything, it's just based on religious ground. I'm know? sure. Very well. I'll do it. But but you're a girl. You shouldn't have to touch a dead body. Just let one of the boys do it. But uh, where are okay. No, it's okay. I think Chihiro would rather have a girl examine her. So just leave this to me. S Sakura. I'm telling you, I ship them. I ship them. What is this? Some kind of secret girl on girl action? Is that what you two are about? Oh, girl. Let me fill you in. That's not it at all. Stop screwing around. Okay. Here I go. Sound like a Mondo thing to say. I'm sorry, Chihiro. Please excuse the intrusion. Putting her hands together in a brief prayer, Sakura then began to quietly examine the body. Be sure to check her entire body, and I believe we will solve this particular mystery. Okay, I have a theory, but it's kind of crazy, and I'm not going to say anything yet. Her entire body? I know you say that, but... What? This is... What is this... Is she actually a boy? Because I've been thinking that for a little while. What is it? Not possible. It's not possible. Yeah, she's a boy. Sakura's eyes were staring wildly at Chihiro's lifeless form. Her massive frame trembled. This... this girl is... Not a girl. Well, a girl, but... You know what I'm trying to say. Is what? Biologically speaking. Is a boy. Ah, I see. 
So she was actually a he. Interesting. Thank you for confirming this fact. <laughs> I was gonna say, there's no way he's gonna take that line down. You're joking, right? I wouldn't joke about this. I like that flickering in the background. <laughs> it's really true? Jihiro was... a guy? Hmm? Oh, what? You guys didn't know? Heck, I knew that right off the bat! I will admit... Once Kyoko brought us back here, and I started to think about it, I had some suspicions, based on the fact that we talk about that she liked to spend, well, I'm gonna keep calling her she, because I, I mean, I can't ask her, because she's dead, but she seemed to identify with being a girl, um, and, uh, she seemed to like to hang out with other guys more than girls, and also she was really upset about not being stronger, when... Everyone was like, you're a girl, it's okay, but if she was actually a guy, physically, then that would make sense. Chihiro Fujisaki was totally a guy! Then, he was a cross-dresser? Oh, they were really on fire! I wish I had killed him! Hi. So that's what Kyoko wanted to show everyone, huh? Interesting. She was like, I don't care. <laughs> yes, that certainly does make things much more exciting. Now let's ride this wave of excitement back to the courtroom and get back to the trial. <clears throat> I do apologize for keeping you Where did you, you go? Now then, let's resume the class trial. And we're going to do that in the next episode. I feel like since I split the first one at like 30 minutes, I should do this one around 30 minutes, and then hopefully we will have one more part, and it'll make it a perfect trilogy. Plus, I feel like this is a good place to stop. I gotta go think, reevaluate everything in terms of the evidence that we have now, with all these new revelations that have come to light. I hope you'll do the same. Maybe we can share our thoughts in the next one. I'll see you then. Bye!